We're all familiar with the scam calls that target our phones these days, but one woman just learned that many of these callers are making false claims about being with Medicare. Jill Eilers is recovering from a knee replacement and is trying to stay on top of her bills and coverage. So when she gets a medical-related call, she listens. I answer the phone and they tell me, um, ask if I was Jill, and I say yes. A recent call sounded important. And they say that they are with Medicare and they want to send new cards. But when they asked for her Medicare number, Jill realized she was about to be scammed. Zulfikar Ramzan is with the company Aura, which provides theft protection services. He says there are two main motivators for Medicare scams. The first is money. Scammers want financial information like your credit card number. Hey, by the way, your card's going to expire or... You know, here's a, a free kit to test for COVID. We just need you to pay for shipping. The second is your Medicare and insurance information to be used in fraud schemes later on. For example, can somebody get prescription drugs in your name using your insurance information? Kathy Stokes, the director of fraud prevention programs with the AARP, says Medicare will never call you unless you initiate the conversation. She says hang up if you receive calls about increasing your benefits, updating your Medicare card, or taking tests in order to keep your benefits. They're going to say, um, and if you don't take this test, we're going to block your Medicare benefits. So then they use fear. Jill wants to get a message out to her older neighbors to just hang up on these calls. You know, they prey on the older people because they know that they're more likely to do what they want to do. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.